this content is for kids. It's not uh, for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill them. Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. He likes movies. We like movies. Septo Sid versus the world. 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 Greetings! You're watching Septum Sen vs. the World. I'm Septum Sen. Today, we're going to be talking, well, the fifth of my TV strolls. I actually skipped TV entirely, so I just realized I better go back and catch up on that. Um, this is going to be unique. This actually is one of those pitfalls of having a lot of a certain series. So we're probably only going to be discussing two series this time around because one of them has so many volumes that I've got that I've seen it's just uh, it's there like when I get to anime and I hit bleach it's just gonna be an all bleach episode but I'll have at least two this time around so we're gonna start off with DuckTales so this is volume one which is pretty cool I hate that Disney kind of throws in, well, we're just going to throw in random episodes. Yeah, so, I mean, this has 27 episodes. And you got some pretty cool stuff here. I mean, you got your Disney movie thing. All my codes have been used. <laughs> I really like DuckTales. It was a staple of the 90s. This is the original show. And uh, it was just one I was growing up. That's what I watched. I did Disney Afternoon. This was one of those Disney Afternoon shows. I've got a lot of those uh, on DVD. I haven't yet picked up uh, Gummy Bears yet, but uh, it's a possibility. And this one's just, you know, you got Scrooge McDuck, who's this millionaire duck who is traveling the world to make more money and find more treasures and adventures and he has his nephews who do this trip with him along with a bunch of pretty cool characters pretty oddball uh, people who just travel with him so it's just a, it's a really fun series it, is, it still does hold up for the most part as far as I'm concerned this is volume two One of the things about these darn Disney sets, again, out of order. This is the volume that has the original, like, the original introduction. The, uh, what they did is they did, like, kind of a mini, a mini series when they started off to, uh, show off, which was the, uh, which was a five-parter called The Treasure of the Golden Suns. And they did this with the darn, uh, with the Rescue Rangers set, too, which I find weird. It's like, yeah, volume two, that's when we're going to do it. And if you buy any volume of this series, buy volume two. The Treasure of the Golden Suns still is, in my opinion, the best of the DuckTales storylines. It still holds up fairly well. I actually like this kind of shiny. <laughs> It really does. So there's that other volume of that. All right. So then there's volume three. So, so volume two. I mean, there's not really much to say about it. There's no real special features on these. Um, Volume 2 has another 19 episodes along with the 5 episode pilot 24. And this one has another 24 episodes. So we got here, you know, 
Mrs. Beasley. <laughs> it's always fun to just pop on an episode every once in a while. We live a little bit of the childhood. And like I said, they're fun. They kind of hold up over time. Something if you have like a, a child, it's good to watch with. It's the old Disney magic. So, there is a volume four. I do own it, but I haven't watched my copy yet. And that only leaves a handful of episodes left. If they released one more volume, they could have all of it. I don't know what's keeping them from it. It took them long enough to go from volume three to volume four, so who knows, maybe there'll be a Disney Movie Club exclusive volume five with the last like 11 or 12 episodes. We can only hope. <laughs> Disney is not really great about their releases these days, especially with Disney Plus being out. I mean, why, why do a physical release when you can just stream? <laughs> So, next up is the, the thing that's going to take up all the rest of this time. So if you hate it, you're probably going to want to leave it, which is Family Guy. Now, this is the season one and two. If you get anything Family Guy, get this. This will do you. This is probably the best that Family Guy could get. It's a very good deal to get two seasons in it. I'm trying to think of how many. There are 21 episodes involved in this. Got the episode summaries on the back. You have commentaries on selected episodes, internet promo spots, and behind the scenes featurettes. Oh, 28 episodes, sorry. Must have a misplaced. Yeah. Season one was not very long. Season two was much longer. I feel like they were under a lot more pressure to do well back in those days under the original run. Because the quality was really good. I mean, this came out around the time I was in college, and it was a pretty intelligent show. It had some pretty good writing, it wasn't quite as random, it had some stuff that was relatively new to the market when it came to what they did. It, it was just something new and kind of fresh. Now I'm not sure that new and fresh is something that people identify with when it comes to Family Guy uh, these days, but um, back then, most assuredly so. Now if you want the best of the what, what many would consider the good run, you would still need to get the last one, which is that season three, which they do in two volumes, uh, I think. Yeah, volume two, season, yeah, season three, volume two, uh, let's see here, yeah, so, now this is uh, their volume two, which is, you know, season three, which, if you get this, you've pretty much got all the family guy you could ever really want, but I'm kind of pun uh, glutton for punishment, I like to be completionist, so I keep going. Now on this one, again, never before unaired episodes when you wish upon a Weinstein. So, you know, you want to see ones that you're not going to see on streaming or otherwise. You would see it here. Commentaries on episodes. 28 deleted scenes. Original series pitch. And two new featurettes. Uncensored and series overview. So, you know. So Family Guy really is kind of, it makes fun of a lot of things. It's very much on the lines of popular cinema. 
these days. But, it was after this that they got cancelled. Much like Futurama. Futurama also had the same basic thing. Now Futurama, I put in that they just had it at a bad spot. When they were airing Futurama, it was also during the time I think Monday Night Football was on. And there would be times that the episode would be cut off because the football game would go into overtime. So many episodes weren't seen in Futurama because of that. So who was watching? You know. So then Family Guy got a revival, got a second chance. And that's the start of this. And they started doing them in these volume sets, not really season sets anymore. Which, much like DuckTales, starts lending into random episodes. There are definitely episodes missing. I'm not exactly sure whether I like that or... N well, I know I don't like it. There's 13 episodes in this with commentaries, world domination, the Family Guy phenomenon, deleted scenes, score, music of Family Guy, multi-angle table reads, storyboards and animatics. I mean, for instance, you don't get to see the uh, Family Guy storyline where they killed off uh, killed off the dog and replaced him. Or Brian, yeah. So again, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird now that I think about it because Disney owns Family Guy. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever have considered Family Guy a Disney property. And it's still released. It's still going. I don't get it. I can understand why The Simpsons would keep being released. Because it's still insanely popular. Not necessarily good. But I'm going to, again, Family Guy is also somewhat popular too. Which I don't quite get. But... You know, if you're like a super fan of Family Guy even today, uh, of the new episodes, let me know in the comments below. I am neutral to it. I get enjoyment out of some of these episodes. They're not as good, not as much as I used to. So, you know. Oh, there we go there. <laughs> Hit the censored bar there. <laughs> You know, they, they do this, like, censored joke on this. You can get these relatively cheap. Usually what I do is when one comes out, I'll usually wait till Black Friday, and then you can usually get it get a season for, like, ten bucks or under. Uh, well, not a season, a, a volume as they release. So, you know, some fun. So here is volume five, which you can see that there. Comes with three animatic episodes, uh, commentary on every episode, Deleted scenes, drawing Peter uh, featurette, toys, toys galore featurette, optional censored audio on 11 episodes. So 13 more episodes. It's kind of cool though that they offer it. So if you want to show them to your children, you want to go with what the network did to censor it, you could. It's kind of cool there. I like it there. I mean, I did like that they did add some extra attention to the artwork on here. That's kind of fun. It's not going to last. Because <laughs> this was during the time where DVDs were still pretty... Um, what do they call Pretty big at that point. Alright, 
So now we uh, enter the last volume of the uh, old school type volumes, volume six. You can see my copy is kind of damaged. They, they actually went all out with this volume. I guess it's because it's the last time they decided to put any money into the uh, sets themselves. Um, deleted scenes, 100th episode, Family Guy Live, just for laugh, making of the 100th episode, loads more. So, you know, that's volume six. So it's kind of what it would look like basically before they had that slip cover on it. it looks like how it would be normally. <laughs> So, <laughs> have some verses on there. Again, I do like that they do this art on here. I like it when they pay attention to and give some attention to the DVDs themselves and to the crafting of it, the artwork the box obviously I got mine used once they enter my collection they're usually kept pretty much in the same condition they're found in I, mean, I don't use mine as coasters or anything I don't leave them laying around it always annoys me you ever do that like get a friend who borrowed a game as a kid or something like that and then that friend decides I'm going to take this out of my system and just leave it laying around. Like, okay. <laughs> there it is there. Look at this inhale. Boom. All right, now for the uh, cheaper versions. Some with slip covers, some without. <laughs> so this is volume seven, as you can see, a little bit cheaper on the way they do it. Uh, still have commentaries, uh, three animatics, deleted scenes, four featurettes, uh, take me out to place tonight, Family Guy Cribs, Comic-Con 2008, and Family Guy Art Show. 13 more episodes. The Family Guy has been going on a long time. Of course, once we get to South Park, there's probably going to be an entire episode dedicated to South Park. <laughs> because South Park really... <laughs> They haven't really changed all that much in their uh, DVD releasing. They have less episodes, though, per season. I think they do like 10 per season these days. Whereas Family Guy still does, you know, 13 or so. Sometimes more. Okay, let's put that over there. All right, so this next one, Volume 8. <laughs> This time, uh, commentaries again. Deleted scenes, Road to the Multiverse featurette, and Family Guy karaoke. So fun. Kind of wraps around the back. I guess you could use this as like a full on. Of course, you've got this with Meg there. There's nothing really behind here. Nope. <laughs> There's the uh, discard there. And they discard here. Now they did have a booklet that came with it, which is odd. And of course you got a little advertising for this. Put your little episode stuff here. It's kind of cool that they had a kind of script in here, which is pretty cool with the little sketches and stuff that you can see. Road to the Multiverse. That was the big seller of this. <laughs> and there were some good episodes in these. It's just, they were far, these seasons to me were far more hit or miss. Volume 9. Again, commentary, deleted scenes, Brian and Stewie, lost phone call, Who Done It? the making of 
and there were fewer, there were fewer history of the world according to Family Guy, Family Guy Comic Con 2010, side by side animatics, and more. More from Fox, an episode of the Cleveland Show. So you got 14 episodes and the 150th episode. Now, this was a. I will give them this. They do like to throw in a lot of special features with them, which you don't see a lot on TV series. American TV series, they do a little bit more often. Anime, you see it on next to none of them. You see features on an anime, you're like, oh, <laughs> there's ten. Commentary by series writers, deleted scenes, all I really want for Christmas, the music video, Road to the North Pole, Herbert and Franz, making of an epic fight sequence, Adam West star uh, ceremony, and select scene anime. And they do kind of do the the sort of wrap around, but this isn't more. This isn't as much a wrap around as a thing here. So we got Stewie's arch enemy. You see. can see why I'm limiting it to this instead of trying to find 10 different series. Can you imagine having multiple of the th this number? My goodness, to go through. So another, tw I mean, it's 23 episodes, so quite a few episodes in this volume. I don't know why. This one and American Dad are the only ones I know that release like this. Just like, well, matter of fact, DuckTales is doing that too, so I guess I can't really say that <laughs> but well, why do that randomly why not just release it in seasons I mean it's not like they haven't already done it before with their first through I mean one through three I mean <sighs> So this one has the 200th episode on it, which is volume 12. No slipcover, but don't worry. I think that these do have slipcovers. Again, commentary, 200 episodes later, 200th episode, table read, select scene animatics, 2012 Comic Con. I think that these have slipcovers. It's just when I bought them, I didn't catch the slipcover, which is sad, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Oh, yes. I actually did play the whole Family Guy phone game for a while. It was interesting. I admit it, it, it's like one of those gotcha type games. I am glad I don't play it now. <laughs> this one here. Volume 13. Again. Commentaries on the road, Springfield, making of Simpsons guy, full episode animatic on Stewie, Chris, and Brian's excellent adventure. 18 more episodes. See, not getting a bad episode count here. So that I'll give it above. This Family Guy pinball, which I do have, mainly because I can hit Peter with the pinball. And there's that game. There's that phone game. The quest for stuff. <laughs> Titanic there, and you can see. So that's one thing I, I will give it that the uh, South Park does not have, which is they seem to at least stuff more episodes per volume in there. Though at least to, you know. Huh. I did not watch this one, so I will have to hold off on that one. So that's season 14. I'm going to have to refile that. It's going to be a priority, though. So I'll put that to the side. So 15. 
which has deleted scenes, Family Guy Remembers, Carrie Fisher, Adam West tribute, because Adam West was the mayor. He was one of the uh, coolest things about Family Guy. That remained cool. <laughs> so guess what? By the next time we get to TV again, <laughs> you'll get to have more Family Guy. <laughs> So there's 16. That's the that's the latest that I have on release. That was just rainbow stuff. So this one. Uh, deleted scenes. Three directors. Animatic with commentary. Three directors was a fun episode. I will give it that. It's just like they filmed the episode. They filmed basically the same episode as if. A different director did it. Um, so this is one that was kind of cool because this is an episode that was banned. Uh, partial terms of endearment. So it kind of had its own thing. So you had your audio commentary, your animatic, your live and uncensored table read, and uh, Seth and Alex's almost live comedy show. go and one more now this is what when they got back on the air this is how they did it it was a, basically it, it was broadcast as the family guy movie and it was released in theaters i believe but it was really just two episodes kind of thrown through two long episodes thrown together so there's audio commentary bonus uncensored audio track and animatic comparison so there that is there <laughs> so I mean back then they didn't have a lot I mean they were just getting back on a lot of us were excited about it the excitement did not last all right well that's all we have for us today I hope you've enjoyed this if you have click that like button of course, subscribing is always great. Uh, we do love having our subscribers. And of course, share because sharing is a great thing. So we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.